All right, hello everyone, and welcome back to the Save the Saiga series. Um, I just noticed uh, when I loaded the game up that we actually have, I believe, three Saiga that are ready to be released into the wild. So let's go ahead and do that. Start with Saiga 31, Saiga 25. 35 is not an adult yet. And then there's one down here, yes. So I got 28 as well. That might put us at 10 now. As this is, okay, we got more famous again. Harmony is now pregnant. Okay, let's go ahead and do something real quick. I wanna see. Seems like that's the only one in this. Yeah, I think so. Okay, so we're just waiting on that one to grow up and then we can release it into the wild as well. Cool. Yeah, so that we did release 10 into the wild now. That's what I thought. So, just 15 more to go, and we'll have succeeded in this. Who just gave birth? Must have been you. No, because you, you're pregnant. Uh, where'd that baby go? Oh, no, this is just Iris. Okay, never mind. False alarm. Um, everything seems to be going pretty well. This is, um, population in this one is certainly smaller than in this one. So any others that we keep, I'll probably start moving them over to here. Just, oh, Rose is going to give birth. Um, just so there's a pretty even a number distributed between the two enclosures. I think that would be, uh, good to do it that way. So, let's go ahead and over here I don't know depending on whether this is male or female will decide whether they want to keep the calf or not um, for the last episode I actually kept three I think three out of the four were born so in this episode most of them will probably be re uh, keeping or not keeping but uh, giving up I and mean, uh, releasing to the wild so let's see if we can click on this eventually there we go. Uh, this is Sega 36, who is a male. So yeah, we're not going to keep this one. We are going to release him into the wild. So we'll put him in here. And I know it seems kind of cruel to take them from the mother right away, but I'm just doing it that way so I can so I can stay organized, you know. Um, Obviously, if I was really running an a, uh, organization like this, I wouldn't do that, but <laughs> it is just a game, after all. So let's go ahead and go down here and make sure the zookeepers are doing their job. You can never quite tell if that's going to be the case or not. Seems to be doing alright, though. I think there's two or three zookeepers assigned for each enclosure. And this one looks pretty good, actually. Yeah, so let's go in here now. Sorry about that. Clicked off the uh, game for a second. Um, some water right there. Yes, yeah, they all are staying fairly on top of things, which is good to see. All right, let's uh, go up here. Just get a general look on how everyone's doing. We've got Maya, Niyama, Lily, Sala, Genesis, who almost died in the last episode. Unfortunately, we managed to uh, notice that she had gotten stuck outside of her enclosure at just the right time before she ended up 
getting really sick and dying. That would have been very bad. Yeah, that's we're getting close. We're getting very close. Which is good. But a little bit um sad I guess in a way too. It'll be sad to uh to sort of say goodbye to this series. But we'll be moving on to something else afterwards, something else that will be just as um enjoyable, just as entertaining hopefully, and also just as beneficial, I hope. So guys, looks like we're about to see a bit of a baby boom here because we have one, two, three, four, five of the females all right about ready to give birth. We have Nayama, we have Dorothy, Julie, Maya, and Harmony. Sala not too far behind. Okay, so Nayama has given birth. That is, I'm gonna go ahead and turn the grass off for this to make it easier to find them all. So I got 37 is a female. So I think we'll keep her actually. And I'm gonna find a name. Let's see, what do we got? What do we got? Let's go with Hmm. What do I like? What do I like? Yeah, let's go with that. Let's go with Cleo. Okay. And let's go back to the list. They're all very close, so we'll keep an eye on them. Um, I'm assuming we probably won't keep all of these. Probably just um, maybe two or three of them. The population is good enough right now where we shouldn't have to keep too many of them. Better to focus on releasing them into the wild. Um, although, I do, there is a little concern that I have. I haven't really discussed or talked about it all up to this point, but. Eventually, some of our first Saigo we got will start to die off, you know, from old age. I don't know when that's going to be. I have no idea. Hopefully, it's not anytime soon, but that is something we do have to keep in mind. Um, seeing as that could be uh, a problem for as far as keeping a healthy sized population. Um, let's see. Alright, Dorothy just gave birth. Alright, this is the newest one. Yes, this is a male. So we're actually going to... Okay, Maya just gave birth. We're actually going to release this one into the world as well. And then Maya gave birth. So let's go find Maya, and then it'd be easier to find her baby that way. 39. This is a male. I think I'll also release this one into the wild. Harmony's going to give birth. Julie's going to give birth. Yep, like I said, definitely got a baby boom going on here. But that's good. That's a good, uh, be a good increase to the population, which is what we want to see. It's actually looking pretty crowded in here now. Even more crowded probably in here. Julie's gave birth. This is definitely the easiest way to find them. Harmony gave birth. Okay, so it should be 39. No, 39's in there. So it's 41 is what we want. Which is also a male. Um, let's go ahead and keep this one, actually. Why not? And I'll find a male name. How about Victor? Okay, and then there should be a 40 in here somewhere. Yeah, right there, so this will be female. And I'll probably 
end up releasing this one as well. So, put her in there. And that leaves us with quite a few actually to release into the wild. Alright guys, I think I'm probably going to end the episode here. Uh, it's a little bit of a shorter one, but um, just the way it is, I guess. Uh, Brianna is now pregnant. Um, but yeah, so it's going to be a little bit shorter one, but hopefully we can... Hopefully that's alright. Um, next one will hopefully be a little bit longer as well. We are definitely getting close to our final objective, which is very cool to see. Uh, I'm excited about that, but like I said, it's a little bit sad at the same time because that means we will be moving on to a new series after this uh, with a similar goal, um, just probably slightly different. Um, I don't know why I have that off. And you, as I said in the last episode, if you guys have any ideas for uh, endangered species that you'd like me to uh, focus on in the next series, then you guys could let me know. So I was going to give birth. I guess we could go stay for that and then move on. Or then end the episode after that. So yeah, just let me know if you do have any ideas for endangered species that we could do uh, in the next series after this. And I will definitely take those all into consideration. And uh, I'll probably be doing these type of series for as long as you guys want me to. So if you don't end up if the species just doesn't get chosen next time, you know, it could be chosen. Or I could do it some other time after that, so. Alright, so let's see what this is. Um, this is a female. Release or keep? What do I want to do? And eh, we'll keep it. It's more fun that way, I guess. I'll come up with a name you guys suggested. Let's go with... Cali, there we go. Alright guys, that's going to do it for this episode. Uh, thank you very much for watching, and I'll see you all in the next one.